Hi guys, this is a video on getting custom themes on the release candidate version of Windows 7. So here you can see my start area it looks a little bit different than the standard theme you get with Windows 7. Also you can see my computer, we've got some black here, we've got a dark bottom, we've got different icons on the top right and we also have no borders around these fields. Now this is done through the 7 Max Clear Live Black theme. Just to run the Windows 7 theme to show you the difference as you can see it looks a little bit different. So 7 Max Clear Live Black, this cannot be obtained through the get more themes online link that's because it's not been made by Microsoft it's a third-party theme so you will need to patch your system to enable you to use these third-party themes now before I start all the download links you need are on my website I'll provide a link to this to the right of this video in the description and also there is a long list of all the different Windows 7 themes that you can get at the moment so if you have any problems with this or if you know of any more themes or anything like that please make a post under this as everything is pretty much there for you. So let's start with the patching. If you go to a website normally you'd find uh, they'll give you a manual way of doing it. They'll tell you to use uh, something like replacer to replace files but we just want a tool to do it for us don't we because we're lazy. So let's just open up this one. This is Universal Theme Patcher. Again you can download this on my website and you can see here that we have a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. So depending on which operating system you're running and if you don't know that then you shouldn't be doing this at all then um, it will depend on which of the program you want to start so I have the 64-bit version so I'm going to start this one it says use the interface language English yes that's absolutely fine so it tells me my version of Windows 7 as you can see ultimate edition 64-bit it says this OS needs to patch three files in my case it doesn't need to patch it because I already have patched it but in your case it will say exactly the same thing and you'll want to go to yes so as you can see here, it's just a nice, easy to read big box and it will tell you all the versions that you have and it will tell you if they have been patched or not. All you have to do is go patch, patch, patch and that's done. Once it's finished, you'll need to reboot and your system will be ready to have custom themes. As you can see here, I have restore buttons because I've already patched my system. So you won't see this. This will probably be greyed out for you and you'll have the patch buttons active. So once you've rebooted and had your custom uh, patch, sorry, custom theme patch, you will then need to go and obtain one of these themes. Now some of them contain extra things like changing the orb, the start orb, which means modifying uh, some system files which means doing it manually so the one I went for is the 7 Max Clear Life Black because it just contains a theme as you can see it also contains gadgets which I don't use and icons which I don't use but even in this icons thing you have to replace some DLL files which is a lot of messing around and uh, before I say anything you may need to run Universal Theme Patcher in uh, as administrator. I'm not administrator on this and it works for me but you may not have administrator status or what have you. So anyway let's get back to this. Uh, the theme folder you can see I have 7 Max Clear Live Black 1, 2, 3. So all I did was drag my mouse over all of these, copy them and then head to uh, computer, see, Windows, resources, themes. Now if you've done this with Windows XP you'll know that's the location you put your custom themes in. As you can see I've already pasted these in. So all I did was click them and they went into my themes inside personalization. As you can see at the bottom these are the installed themes and I have total arrow, half arrow and original arrow. I've chosen original arrow. Total arrow I believe takes this line at the bottom with your taskbar out so it's just like completely transparent but I've chosen original arrow and it looks pretty much like this and it looks pretty nice so again head on over to the link I'll provide in the description it will tell you where to get this theme patcher and it will tell you which of the theme I'm using a long list of themes that you can get and again please comment with any of the ones that you think are the best for you so this is patching the Windows 7 release candidate thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again